Was this the Tucker hat theme? Hell yeah, brother. Brother, yeah, brother, yeah, video game, brother, yeah, yeah brother, video brr, brr. Good morning. Hello, chatty chatters. Welcome back. Good to see you all here for our first look at yet another life simulator, business simulator, shop owner simulator, pet shop simulator looks like steam's got a couple of these games like that have almost the exact same name so yeah it's kind of weird but uh anyway i thought we'd take our first look at it today not this game that'll be later but uh this game there yeah should be pretty cool we do love ourselves some uh animals do love ourselves some business ownership and uh you know simulating shops and whatnot so this should be a good one right up our alley oh looks like they have a release date um, April 16th for this one. Oh, it's right around the corner. Check that out. Very nice. All right, we'll play the full game uh, sometime in the future. This is a prologue, so it contains some of the base game, but we'll see how much. Prologues are always weird because either they uh, almost are like an early beta or they're like an extendo demo. We'll see. But let's go take care of some animals and whatnot. Anyway, welcome back. Good to see you all here. I hope everybody's well. Welcome aboard. Let's check it out. Bing bong. All right, there she is. By the way, thank you very much to uh, Ish Ishashu for the uh, Twitch Prime sub over on Twitch. Exclamation point Twitch in the YouTube chat if you want to follow over there too. Uh, let's go and... Uh, wait, what? You can only create three shops in the prologue? I don't know what the hell that means. All right, uh, what do we got here? Create a new shop. All right, uh, what are these? Oh, logos, cool. Oh, the bunny, oh, the kitty. Chad, look, we got a kitty, kitty. Kitty! That's right. Uh, let's see, need a shop name. Hopefully we could change it any time. Raptor, I have breaking news. Oh, really? These broke into a parking lot of my local police station and stole all the wheels off the cars. Today, the cops are looking tirelessly for the criminals wow wow actually actually a good one um let's see creating a new shop enter shop name um the kitty's cute the dog is cute bunny is cute i want more logos though um We'll go with Kitty for our logo. 
Damn it. You know we have to come up with like a comedic name. Every business now has to have some sort of a pun, like every time. Like it's got to be like uh, Kit, Kitty and Caboodle or something. You know, it's got, it's got to make you go, oh. Like, you know, let me go, hold on, let me go in there and cut a check for all the money I own. All of it. Pets are us? Hmm. You're playing Endzone? Oh, Endzone, A World Apart? That's a good game. They're coming out with a sequel soon for that one, but uh, I don't know any more information about that. The Cat House? My First Pet Shop? Mm, what is this button up here? Language? Oh, yeah. English, Polsky. Oh, my God. Traditional and simplified Chinese. Hmm. Um, hmm. Pawn Shop. Wow. That's actually pretty good. Let's go with that one. Let's go with that one. Load, delete, or cancel. Please load. Scan product. Uh, start. Oh, that, oh, that's cool. Oh, that's a cool menu, actually. Uh-oh. Is this gonna be like Supermarket Simulator? That was actually a cool menu. Yo, Casey, thanks for the 15 months as a member. Oh, alright, um... Boy, mouse sensitivity is huge. Back that down. Okay, uh, we're good to go. Oh, it's pretty. Love the art style already. That's actually very nice. Who the hell is that? Apparently there's a traffic light in the parking lot. Oh, this is cool. I'm actually kind of impressed. There's a little 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 bit of work done with the uh with the town. So they gave us twenty thousand bucks to spend. And it looks like time has stopped at the beginning of a day, so uh, it looks like it's very similar to uh, Supermarket Sim that way. Looks like we might possibly be in Europe. Pretty. I wonder if cars will actually pull in and park here when we open up. All right, so uh, shop clothes required storage shelves and a cash register. Who are you? Hey. Hi. Hey, all. Uh, hello, I'm delighted to meet the new store owner. Who are you? Oh. You want to learn how to manage your store and what to pay attention to, yes? Mm -hmm. I'm here to help you open the store and teach you the basics of running a shop. The first step is the warehouse. I can't wait. Building the warehouse is the start of your adventure. When you're ready, talk to me. I am also assuming that our shop could probably get bigger than this, maybe? Hmm. I love your content and the simulator games you play. They're my fave. Well, thank you very much for watching. I was also wondering, like, we picked a logo and stuff, but that must just be the logo for the save. I don't even see our shop name anywhere. Oh, yeah. Great. Just let me move a bit. Oh. I don't want to accidentally get hit in the forehead by a flying piece of furniture during construction. Uh -huh. No one wants that, so before entering construction mode, you'll need to close the shop. Also, ask all employees to leave. Give me a moment. Hey, I'm in a safe position now. Access the tablet using tab. Build mode. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so we can actually build in a top-down, like, tycoon mode. That's cool. Oh, yeah. So all this black space on the left and right is definitely where we can expand into. So we could definitely make the store bigger. And we could build, like, a top-down. That's cool. That's actually really cool. 
Select a warehouse and drag it over the designated area, and the room will magically appear. How convenient. Oh, so it's a little bit like The Sims. Or like building walls and stuff. Sure. So we're building a stock room. Uh... Boom. All right, cool. You're doing great. In the future, uh, if you need to hire a warehouse worker, you'll need to provide them access to the warehouse. So I will purchase a door and place it in the warehouse wall. Boom. Locked in. We're locked in. Ordered products can't just lie on the floor. Someone could trip over them. That's why we'll buy some warehouse shelving. Game's got some stuff going for it already with the... Uh, like with the building design from the top down. I like that. The more shelves you have, the more products you can store before placing them on the store sh on the sales shelves. Buy a storage shelf. Okay. Is that the price? 78 bucks. Fantastic. By the way, we have our first required item to open the store. Yeah, the other one is the register. Let's go ahead and purchase the other necessary items. A store shelf, which we already bought. Or is it, oh no, no, storage rack is for the storeroom, uh, store shelf is probably where people will come and shop for things, cash register, but it doesn't say that's required though. So literally all we need is storage and a cash register, but we don't need to display products. Hmm. And a bunny cage, we'll need them later. We're going to sell bunnies? Oh. Uh, put down a traditional rack. Chat, you know what this is making me want to play? Uh, big Ambitions. We might have to jump back to Big Ambitions again. Hood Babies, you know? And buy a cash register. Oh, I wonder if we get to work the cash register too. Buy a bunny cage. Bunny enclosure. Oh my god. Hello? Oh. That wasn't so hard. In the future, you'll be able to decorate the store as you'd like. For now, you've learned the basics of building mode uh, and purchasing. The next step is ordering goods. 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 Once you've caught your breath, talk to me and we'll continue with the learning. Oh yeah, let me... I need to catch my breath. Wow, these ladies are like having a very distant conversation. Like, look at how far... Like, me talking to this guy from over here. Hello. Great. Let's get started with ordering the goods. You can order goods for the shelves on the tablet. After placing the order, the goods will be unloaded into the unloading area. Come, I'll show you. Actually, that's really cool that NPCs will stop on the sidewalk and have a conversation. Like, that's actually really cool. I like that. All right, now, I'm tempted to read this super chat in chat, but the moment I read it, I think that's when the system is finally going to perk up and... God damn it. I knew it. I don't know why it takes, like, four minutes. It's ridiculous. Thank you very much, uh, Kieran, for the five. I remember watching your Man of War videos when mm -hmm. I was in, like, fifth grade. Wow. M21 now and about to get married. Oh. Thanks for all you do, bro. Wow. Well, congratulations on... I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm hoping that you graduated at 21. Congratulations on your graduation and then that other thing you messaged. Oh, I, at the marriage, yes. <laughs> no, nah, I'm just kidding. Well, uh, happy graduation and happy wedding, happy marriage. I wish you a happy marriage. Thank you very much, dude. That's awesome. Wow. Someone's been watching since they were in fifth grade. That's crazy, dude. That's crazy. Well, welcome aboard, man. Actually, I'm glad that you mentioned uh, Men of War because literally last night I was recording episodes of Colt Arms Gates of Hell Ostfront. That's like kind of a, a sequel to Men of War. So those videos are still going on, man. Some things don't change. I'll be uh, putting those up probably in May for when I'm in Japan. So I'm recording them now, I'm getting ready to release them next month. But uh, we all know what we're really waiting for. Man, nerd words. Fritz. Fritz is coming back. Here, 
Is that supposed to be a smiley face or three? Open the tablet and order food for the cat. Do we, wait, do we have a cat? Oh, cool. You could sort by animal and then things, things that they like. Choose the food, add it to the cart. What else can they have? I'm assuming that's toys, enclosures, and like cleanliness, grooming, a couch. Oh, we could sell frickin' turtles? No way. What do we got? Dogs and cats, bunnies, fish, hamsters, mice, turtles. Oh, that's outstanding. Kitty palette beef. Beef? It's what's for dinner. Where's the beef? Great. Wait for the delivery vehicle to arrive and unload the packages at the unloading zone. Unload the packages and the goods will be moved to the warehouse. All right, this game is actually doing some cool stuff. I want to see um, other games do. Like NPCs kind of having random conversations. It actually seems to be somewhat well put together with certain things. Wow, he's backing into the unloading zone. No way. Ordered goods have been unloaded at the delivery zone. Moving to warehouse. Cool. That's cool. Man, that must make rap feel old. Um, not really, actually. It makes me... Realize I've been here a very long time, and that I'm still uh, doing new stuff. And it actually makes me feel really good that I kind of figured out ways to like adapt and change and um, like play different new games. In fact, when I was in uh, Boston again, uh, Dirty and Lumberjack were kind of like thanking me in a way for encouraging them and letting them know it was okay to like branch out away from the stuff that they're very good at, which is like Call of Duty. That, like Valorant, Apex, that kind of thing. Like, they're very good at first-person shooters. And they didn't think other things would be successful on their channel. Now they're playing, like, Enshrouded at Night with Red, which was cool to see. Like, they were all hanging out together last night playing that. And um, I hope to see more things like that in the future. Like, them play Once Human or... Well, hell, they were playing SnowRunner and stuff with us, so it's really cool. Now, the channel's 18 years old. I got one of the oldest channels on YouTube. I didn't even realize that. Like, I started at junior year of high school... In like December, I remember I was watching a video and I wanted to leave a comment. And I was like, all right, I'm going to type in a comment. And they're like, you have to make an account to leave a comment. And I'm like, that's stupid. I hate this. Here we are. <laughs> I'm part of the problem now. There you go. That's how things go. Also, as for Twitch, I uh, started a Twitch channel like in 20... Well, maybe like 2009, 2010... I don't even know off to look, but... And then I was streaming on uh, Twitch when, like, Twitch first was available. Before, after it was Justin.tv. Um, and I would have streamed on Twitch more, but then YouTube was just a little more lucrative with the emotes. Twitch, it was like, yeah, we're going to need you to fill out form 69420 in triplicate and have X number of concurrent blah, 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 blah. So, yeah. Okay. Hold on, there's Japan news chat, so hold on. Japan news. Okay. Good. Good things are happening, people. Uh, your channel's older than some people. That's true. Yeah, a lot of people watch the channel. That the channel's actually older than, for sure. Okay, let's get going. Uh, let's arrange the goods on the shelves. Come with me. 
You know, I'm kind of concerned. Is this guy not wearing socks? Bruh. Get out of my store. All right. Oh, oh. Uh, you can manage the shelves using the scanner. Oh, show the scanner using the mouse wheel. Next, open the shelf management app using yeah. left mouse button. Aim the scanner at the shelf and then press left mouse yeah. button. <gasps> oh, dude. Okay. That actually would be an amazing feature for Supermarket Simulator. It would be um, an actual scanner so you could walk around and, um, you know, like do the prices that way. Um, I don't mind doing it manually, but yeah, they, there could definitely be a way to use the scanner to move things around. Or like, um, you know what actually would be really nice? Is to use the scanner to click on empty shelves and then have a drop down of what product you want to put there. So then the, the shelf stockers will do that in that game. So if you had a whole store that was empty with shelves and you were doing a rearrangement, then you could be like, okay, toilet paper here detergent here and then they'll just start moving stuff without having to go to the where to the warehouse grab a product of that type put it on the shelf you know it would cut out the back and forth that's all i'm saying that's that's all i'm saying okay um when you're done talk to me i love that idea click scroll to activate the oh wait is this it Arrange, place, move. Uh, I guess arrange. Kitty, I did it, dude. Hmm. There you go. Products on the shelf. Remember, products come in different sizes. Not all will fit on the shelves. For example, large scratching posts. Hmm. Next, I'll show you how to hire employees. There we go. When you're ready, talk to me. Yeah, I like the art style. Hey, y'all. You can run the store entirely on your own, but over time you'll find that you could use some help. Therefore, I'll gladly show you how to hire employees. Let's move the cash register to the cash register, okay? Oh my god, is there a bunny in there already? It's invisible. What's up, bro? Hola. Once you hire an employee, you can assign them a roll. Pizza roll? That'd be cool. Oh. Whether it's a cashier, cleaner, or warehouse worker. Uh, whether it's a cashier, cleaner, or warehouse oh. worker, how well an employee mm. performs their roles depends oh. on their skills. If they lack oh. experience, their work will be inefficient. Oh. But nobody's born with high experience. Mm. Let's get started. Open the tablet and hire an employee. Hey, y'all. We're in luck. The first applicant willing to work with us is ha has appeared. Mm. As you can see, he doesn't have much experience with cash registers, but it's not zero at least. Oh. Hire the employee. We'll go uh, to view the employed people and assign him a role. A role? Yeah. Great. Now you can assign him the task. Uh, we've hired a person who is skilled in operating a cash register, so let's assign them the role of cashier. We can call them? I wonder what calling them does. What does that say? Tiredness and satisfaction. Oh, it looks like we can have them work the cash register, clean, stock shelves, maybe advise customers, and something else. Oh. Awesome. Everything's set up. Now we just need to call the employee. Oh, okay. Oh, that's neat. You can set it up, then call them in. Now we just have to wait for the arrival of our new employee. Hmm. The employee will find an available position to sit on their own. When they arrive and take their position, talk to me. Wait for your employee to arrive. All right. Yo, Gaming Easter Bunny, thank you very much for the two years as a, a, a big old raptor hatchling. Thanks for the support. 24 months, let's go. All right. Good to see you. Dino Nugs in the chat. Let's go. 
Allie, hello, welcome. We're waiting for our first employee. I think that's them now, yep. Cool. Initiating capitalism. Mm -hmm. Looks like the employee has reached their station without any yeah. issues. I think it's time to open the store and see if customers can select products and make payments. Mm. To do this, open the tablet, choose the open option. Okay, well, we're open from 8 to 4. Oh. Ding, ding. The store is open. Now we'll wait for the first customers and the first transaction at the cash register. Hello, would you like to purchase the only cat food we have? Oh. Come on now. Come on. Got him. Scammed him. We're a business now. Our first scam. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Ooh. I wonder if we... So they said we could run the cash register completely on our own. So this... Yeah, this looks like it has its own system of doing that. We just made our first earnings. Oh. What a wonderful feeling. But a pet store is not just about products for animals, but also little pets. Mm -hmm. <gasps> we really want each little creature to find a loving oh. home. That's why we're eager to show you how to receive care for and sell pets to responsible future mm -hmm. owners. When you're ready, you know what to do. All right. So if we get to sit down at the station, that's what I hope we get to do. Check out all the products, put it in a bag, and then... That's actually kind of cool. Damn, there's some stuff here that could really go into supermarket sim. Really. Oh. Hi. Another important element is the purchase of pets and taking care of them. Hmm. Okay. Oh. I will now show you how you can buy them and take care of them. Oh. Come with me. Where are we going? It's so far away. Oh. I didn't need to have to move. Press on the cage and choose the option to buy a rabbit. Buy animal. Wait a minute, sir. You told me to buy a rabbit. This is a bunny enclosure. Hmm? What are you trying to pull? <gasps> oh my god, look. That went quickly. Your first rabbit is happily hopping around and waiting for its owner. Mm -hmm. However, they're not always so cheerful. When you see that the pets are sad, make sure they have food and that their surroundings are clean. Oh my god, look at it. He seems happy. Look, see these guys like they like looking at them too. Wow. She's buying a bunny. Hi. Was that two thousand dollars for that? Hold on. Two two thousand bucks for a rabbit? Wait, she's what's in the other bag? Oh, ma'am. Some people. Uh, now we've added only a rabbit, but the same rule applies to other animals. Mm -hmm. Well, that's it for me. Good luck with running the store. Thanks, bro. Thank you, random stranger who looked like a younger Tom Cruise. Wait, prologue days, one out of three. <gasps> they're only going to let us run the store for three days, and then they're going to shut us down. Okay, here's my thought. Um, we'll play this prologue multiple times, and then we'll go and see if there's any other pet games we can play that operate a pet store, and then we'll go play Supermarket Simulator. This is a prologue, and I hate when prologues limit you to days. I hate that. Don't do that, devs. Just give us limited stuff. Don't give us limited time. Okay, so let's buy a bunch of crap. So... Oh, we can buy a ton of stuff for sale. Okay, let's go into build mode and buy some more shelves. Oh, I have to close the damn store? Um... Well, here. Clean. 
Oh, we could have two ra rabbits. Maybe we don't have to clean it yet. Okay, so how do I order stuff again? He did so much yapping, I forgot. Do we want to go to... Basket? Let's buy like... 20 boxes of kitty stuff. Uh, looks like there's a lot of stuff we can buy. Let's just do cat food and dog food to start. We have a hundred things in the warehouse, okay. Or we can we can have up to a hundred. Alright, if we're gonna sell bunnies, we may as well sell food. We'll do two types for the bunnies. So that's eighty items. And let's also buy fish food. Uh -huh. Okay, that'll be fine. Okay, that should be everything. Order. The delivery truck has hit the road, brother. Oh my god, we could... Oh my god, you could pet them. No freaking way. Hi, I love you. Come here, you. You're not getting away from my love. Where's the other one? Come here, you. Alright, that's actually pretty sweet. Yeah, super, this this reminds me a bit of Supermarket Sim, for sure. Um, but I do really like the fact that this allows customization of, like, putting a, um, like a warehouse wherever you want. If Supermarket Sim had the option to, and it, you know, it would have to change the game a lot because they have that whole system of, like, buying it where you expand little by little. But yeah. All right, so let's hit the, uh... How do I get out the scanner? There we go. Okay, so move the assortment to storage. No, move the assortment. Replenish, there we go. Okay. Oh, look at that. That's so easy how we can stock shelves. It's not even a pain in the ass. I was expecting more pain. Okay, let's, um... Let's do dog food now. Uh -huh. Okay. Then let's do bunny food. Oh, that only takes up a little bit of space. Oh. oh, it has to be the whole shelf? Oh, come on now. I could totally yeah. easily fit two different types okay. of food there. Oh my, oh my god, ma'am. Oh my god. Hmm. <laughs> Look at all these people looking at one shelf. It's kind of annoying, though, that I have to shut down the whole store to buy a shelf and then put um, a shelf in. You know what we could do, though? Let's actually do a fresh start and then skip the tutorial so we can do whatever we want before we open the store. Let, let's do that. Let's see if it didn't... Oh, okay, it saved it. Um, I, want, I want a fresh start now that I... Oops. Now that I know how to uh, do things. I really like how that scanning and, and uh, stacking system works. Honestly, a long time ago, uh, that one game, Trader Life Sim, could have popped off if we didn't have to like move every single product into uh, position. All right, let's start a new store. So I guess the logo doesn't matter. It's just for the save, I guess. So, yeah. Okay. Let's see. Hold on.
Sorry, Chad. We're planning uh, stuff for Japan, and I, I have to reply to my friends. Have to. So they can do the things they need to do. Don't mind me just tossing a pet food in the shelf. I know. Exactly. Oh, by the way, chat. Today I'm going to be posting uh, pictures of all the cool stuff that you guys sent me for my birthday. And um, I have a couple other things that you guys sent that I'm not sure if they were for my birthday, but I'm just going to say they were because they arrived around that time. And uh, something in there that you guys sent, I think, is for Manor Lords. So that's going to be cool. All right, we need a name for a new shop. What do we got? We're starting a new shop. We need a new name. We got Before we had uh, Pawn Shop, which was hilarious. We need something new. We got we to gotta light this city on fire. We got to get people filled with hype and excitement. We need hype and excitement. There's a lot of hype. There's a lot of hype. There's a, There's lot, a lot of, of hype, hype and, and excitement. excitement behind this. That's what we need. We need the hype and excitement. The train has left the station. What are we doing? We got to have a pun. Got to kind of rhyme or make people go tee hee. Yeah, we'd be plotting. That's for sure. Furry little bears. Oh, don't even start with that. Um, hmm. What are some good pa pa like paws was good. Pets are us. Dirty dogs hype factory. <laughs> wow. Actually, you know what's weird? I I think we're literally just naming uh, like the save file because I don't even see where our shop name is. I do feel like what this should be is just like uh, name your save file, then like pick a logo for it. But I feel like you should be able to customize the shop and change the name any time in the game. Like have a have a sign, uh, and then do whatever you want with it and change your name however you want. Bare necessities. <sighs> yeah, you know that really. Nobody owns a bear. All right. I was going to go with that, but I, I just can't see somebody out, you know, on a walk with their bear, you know, like they're out walking their bear, but like they're walking with like a huge chain attached to the bear. Hmm. Pet zoo, pet a pet. <laughs> the ADHD pet store. Yeah, that's kind of me. Parkland. Furry friends. Hmm. We need something pet paw. Wait, hype and excitement. Is there any way we could turn the word hype and excitement into a name? For pet store. Build a pet workshop. Beast mode. Pal world. Oh my god. That's what we're going with. We're going with pal world. Let's go. Hype and excitement. I, I love this menu, by the way. Like, I don't know why this is so entertaining, but the fact that they just made it where, like, you could just... I don't know why that's so damn cool. That's just genius that they put a little cash register. That, that needs some more praise, dude. All right, beat it, pal. Hola. Get the hell out of oh. my store. Mm -hmm. Man, the sensitivity is so high in this game, though. Look at this. Oh, that's better. Okay, let's get started then. Oh, damn it. They start the time for you already? That's a scam. Okay, so we want to go into build mode. Build mode. Okay. All right. Cool. Let's do our own thing. So the warehouse we can throw in the back. Oh, that's a restroom. Oh, oh, staff room. I thought there was going to be a little cafe. Okay, so let's make the storeroom... Um. Eh. Oh, that's not too too much that one. Okay, we'll go with that door. We'll put it over here. Cool. Also, let's listen to some music. Get some tunes going. There we go. This is not in-game music. This is a personal playlist. Okay, let's go with the shelves now. What is that? Shopping baskets? The hell didn't they tell us about that? Um, does that not go in there? Oh, I see. Am 
might sneeze. Okay, we're good. Sneeze averted. I guess I could put some racks here. Nah, that's fine. In retrospect, I'd probably make that room a little smaller. Okay, we need a cash register. I like the idea of putting it over here. That spot was a pretty good spot that they wanted us to put it in, honestly. Uh, did you hear the latest news from the front? Auton automatons were defeated. I did hear that in Helldivers 2. Damn, I kind of wish I was part of that war. In that final fight. I don't know what they're going to do, but uh, that's amazing. Also, I don't know how the hell the bugs um, weren't the first ones killed. I, I felt the bugs were way easier. I got to talk to Colt. Colt's like our damn correspondent in the field. Like, he's our war correspondent. Hey, we could decorate, too. This is another thing they didn't tell us about. All right, let's do some decoration. Um, all of this is hideous. Oh, God. What are some of these? Is this flooring? Oh, that's wallpaper. This is flooring. Let's go with this. This nice blue. Oh, it has to be for the full... Oh, you can't just do like a little... Oh, man. I kind of wanted to do like one type of flooring near the entrance and then change the flooring. Is that ceiling? What is this? I, I think this is for the ceiling. Oh, wow, it is. Oh, it's like I put the... <laughs> It's like I moved the floor to the ceiling. Uh, give me... The, what's that? I don't like that. Actually, that might be better based on if I change the walls. Oh, okay. So we can paint the walls like accent colors. That's kind of nice. Or textures. Okay. Honestly, all this game needs is the ability to have a... Um, they just need to give you like a solid color and then a, a color spectrum wheel. Like, you know, be able to just paint it whatever color you want. Oh, that's kind of cool. We can do like a watery texture for if we have like a little aquarium section. For fish. That's cool. And we'll leave the storeroom. All right, I don't know. Th this is fine. At least it's not the same. Okay, so we've changed that. Okay, so now we want... So there's the large rack of the traditional. Let's go with the small one. We'll do a food section to start with. Food's good. I like food. Let's do pet food over here. Yeah, that's good. Okay, that's nice. And then decorations, we got... Oh, what? You can put... Wow, a game that actually lets you put in ventilation. I wonder if that's actually a... Um, like a thing where it will lower the temperature of the store. Like a comfort thing for the customer. <gasps> we can do lighting? Oh, let's go. And it's on a grid pattern. Alright, this game's already... This game has already scored one point more than uh, Supermarket Sim for having the grid patterned lighting. I can't tell you folks how important that is. I love that. I always got to make sure it's not too bright. It's kind of hard to tell from the top. Do I put that one like two away? Okay. Then we'll put one in the storeroom. Okay, let's see if that's too bright. All right, it kind of is. That's kind of bright. Honestly, <laughs> it's very blinding. Woo. No, the bots are back. Oh, really? Did they like counterattack? I, I, I need to hear from Colt what's going on. Our Colt. Got to dress Colt up in like a little helmet with like the press, you know, the blue press uh, Kevlar going on. Okay. I found an animal shelter simulator. Add the link to the request on Discord. Um, I might actually own that game. I might already have a pet, sim a pet shelter. Okay, wow, look at how quickly the days go. You could just spend the first day just decorating. 
All right, we still need to order stuff. This game, this prologue, um, I don't like that. That they, they, they've really pressured us to like get things done. I don't like that. Well, I think I'm going to order a maximum of all... Let's, let's just do food. Because, uh, unfortunately, we don't have all the time. Uh, how do I go back? I'm going to just try to order all animal food. So I guess this truck can deliver whatever the warehouse can hold at maximum. So at least we don't have to order multiple uh, deliveries. Wait, did I already order fish food? Now I can't remember. Yep. Okay, nothing for those guys. What the hell? The... Uh, Okay, I guess some, some animals we can't sell food for. Wow, we don't even have enough money to order all that. All right. Is there a way to reduce? Oh, we can shrink the order. That's cool. All right, let's do 30. Wait. What? Right, I'll just order everything but that. Then we'll hire an employee. Uh, employee Keegan is good on the register. Okay. Oh, we gotta call them. Uh, set task register. Uh, call them. Okay. <laughs> They're only gonna be working for like ten minutes and then go home. Have I heard of the new Universal Park to open up in the UK? I have not, but uh, I'm all I'm all down for parks. All right, so then we just got to move things to the warehouse. Interesting how it takes the same amount of time, no matter what we order, to move stuff to the warehouse. All right, so let's do... Rabbit food. Covering fire! I'm going to find it really annoying when we can't fill an entire shelf with one product like that. Like, I feel like, honestly, we should be able to do bunny food A and bunny food B, like, next to each other. Like, it's the same product type, but two different products. And the fact that... And it is going to take a little learning to know how many you can stock on a shelf. So those are eight per shelf. Kitty. All right, sorry about my like layout. Maybe there's a way to move it, but we also have limited time because the store is now closed, I guess. So what the hell do we do now? This is, well, unless we could change our hours. Skip night build mode. Always may as well skip night now and open. Oh. The hell, go home. I'm not paying your ass to sit there all night. What the hell? What the? F you have to physically tell every employee to go home? Oh. Dude, this guy Keegan sat here at the register all night. Oh, come on, man. The. Now, that's a little annoying. Employees, you shouldn't have to tell them when they're... They, they should just leave when the store is closed. Like, why would... why? Like, to manual... If you had four employees, imagine going in here and, like, having to call everyone in and... It should be automatic unless you tell them to, like, take a day off or something. 
Like if you got a guy to help do the shelves and all your shelves are full, you can tell that guy to, to skip a day because everything's done. Black, thank you very much for the 29, 39 months. 39 months is a raptor egg. That is dumb. Oh, I guess there's a call all and dismiss all button. But still, I feel like this should be automatic. Like there should be a way to set the schedule or whatever. There, now we could open. Standing by. Right now I owe this dude 573 bucks for staying up all night and just sitting at my pet store. All right, well, we'll see what happens. Oh, what, what? What do you guys want? What? Hmm? No, talk to that guy. I'm paying him. I'm just here for the money. Hmm. Alright, so we're starting out with food, and then I wanted to use all the money from that to then buy, like, pets and stuff. Like, now that we're in this prologue, I wonder, um, yeah, a bear shop, teehee. I wonder what would be most profitable. Like if I if we restarted the store and then I just put down bunny enclosures, like would that just make more money? But it feels like you want to sell. People will buy multiple things. So when somebody comes in, yeah. Oh, they're complaining about a lack of pets. Oh, okay, so they want a variety. Oh. Oh. The hell are they standing around for? Hola. Hello. Oh. Well, this is interesting. Uh, convince the customer to make the purchase by responding to their thoughts. The responses m must be on the same topic, otherwise the customer will not want to continue the conversation. Remember that the customer is not always in the mood and trying to persuade them might make them irritated. Hmm. Thumbs up. Uh, money? Uh -huh. I, uh -huh. I don't, ma'am, I have no idea. What, oh. Look, lady, do you want the fish food or not? It's very simple. What the hell? What's going on with these customers? Lighting is a bit harsh, I know. Well, what we want to do is we want it hot and, and irritating in here to get them in and out. Like what McDonald's did with testing out what, cut, what lighting and stuff irritated people to get them the hell out of the store to increase throughput. These are just the Johns and the Rubes. We're just here for maximizing profit. Bro, how is this guy standing here doing anything? No one's buying nothing. What the hell? hate this store. I should have had a bunny enclosure. Damn it. Hola. They give me all this sh like floor space to do to buy two shelves. Oh. Actually, for real though, they give us a lot of space to start with. So at least we don't have to buy an expansion to the store, which I'm sure we can totally do. Like this can't be the large size of the store. There's got to be way more than that. Oh. 
Um. What do you want, sir? It's freaking dog yeah. food. All right, what do you want? Hello, I'm looking for a puppy puff pork. Can you help me find it? Of course, follow me. Ooh, okay, wait a minute, hold on. That's a cool feature. The customer will actually follow you and stuff. Hmm. All right, that's actually cool. They've done some cool customer stuff here. Oh. Customer will come up to you and look hmm. for a product. Oh, that's wonderful. All right, actually oh. scoring a point now. But what the hell is this? You've got 96 people considering. Oh. Hmm. So what are these? Uh, it's uh -huh. uh, dog food. Mm hmm And what kind? Uh, organic pork. Hmm. And is it locally sourced pork? Uh -huh. Like, I don't know, dude. All right, the whole customer service thing is actually really cool. Like, legit. That customers actually have a brain in this game. Like, they, they'll look for stuff. That'd be so cool in Supermarket Sim if somebody asked you, like, hey, where's the, uh, where's the ketchup? There are so many customers in here, though. Why? Like, the attractiveness of our store is 10%. Could you imagine if this place was bumping? Like, if we were at the club? I already hate our store. Hate it. Alright, I don't know what to do. Tanks and homes for animals? Yeah, it looks like we can get fish, so there's definitely an aquarium section we can do. So that would be really cool to have, like, a, you know, up against the wall, all the aquariums. And then have, um, you know, bunny enclosures. Do turtles, though. We gotta have a store called Turtle Mart. We just sell turtles, but it doesn't look like you could specify. It's like, if people come in here, if your store is called literally just turtles, and they come in, they're like, where's the cat food? And you're like, get out. Except you have to deal with 90 of those people. Oh, actually, they, oh, the customers will actually park. Oh, well, that's cool. People will actually roll up. That's cool. Turtle club, yeah, exactly. Club turtle. Okay, we've actually remade all the money we were negative. So that must be the other thing our employees can do too then, is consult the, um, the customer. Yeah, right there, okay. So you got work in the register, stock in the shelves, advising the customer, cleaning. Wait, you can have the employees do customization? I, I don't know what that is. Or that one. Maybe pricing. Oh, maybe we can adjust prices in this game. Although I don't see an, a way to do that. Set doorbell. Customize assortment. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, we can change the sound when people come in. <laughs> Kitty. I want that one. Can we please have a Japanese convenience store simulator that's like this? I just want to stock, like, endless bowls of instant ramen and, like, um... Uh, gyoza and stuff. Like instant, like hot gyoza. What did this guy want? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. Somewhere over here, sir. Are oh, you looking for fish food over here? Or bunny food? Aww. Oh. Alright, there are a couple of things here that would be great in, in Supermarket Sim for sure. Did someone just go in my store? Ma'am, that is for employees only. Get the hell out of there. What are you doing? Oh. 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 <laughs> Wait, when someone picks a product up off the shelf, it sounds like they just punch someone in the face. Oh. Where's the aquarium? I don't know if we can buy that. 
I I'm using this one as a like a crash. <laughs> this is like a crash <laughs> test. Oh. 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 Uh huh. Oh. Hey, yes, good. Oh. I feel like a lot of people are not buying stuff. Like. It's misleading to think like, like is this okay? Hold on, let's let's observe what happens. This guy, I don't think he could find what he wanted. So is he gonna go to the cash register and ask, or is he buying something? Okay, people, it should not take ten minutes to decide whether or not you want dog food. Oh. Hey, all. All right, they're actually buying. We're we're making some some big sales here. Although it, the people should uh, show something in their hands, or like a little bag. Wow, most people bought something. Damn. Okay. Excuse me. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Uh huh. This cash register takes a while, though. Maybe we should buy a second one and... Hmm. Hey, I'm trying to think of when we do our next run. When we... When we reach day three... We're gonna get kicked out or whatever, and then we're gonna start over. We're gonna have to do animals, food, and then we're gonna try to do, uh... If we do things ourselves, that what what happened here? What is this? Oh, the the customer got mad and just dropped. Okay, the checkout time was too long. They threw their stuff on the floor and left. Wow, that's crazy. I wonder who sits there and do, does all the hmm. Yeah. And the lighting. The lighting is the lighting is aggressive. Looks like we made about a thousand bucks, though. A slow workers. Well, he did check out quite a few people. We're going to need a second register, but we don't have time or money for that, really. Hi. They only give us three days to do stuff. That's not enough time. Or money. But again, it's cool to see people pulling up. But there needs to be a way for when the, when the store is closed at... Uh, 16 that employees should just automatically go home unless you want the uh, cleaner guy to stay or something but that's why you should be able to set up schedules like have the cleaner show up an hour late and stay an hour later oh thousand for a bunny not sure what the other things cost to buy yeah we do get a thousand bucks for the bunnies But how much are they buying pet food for? Like a hundred bucks? Let's check the register. Also, I think there's actually um, like theft in this game too. 
Like, Supermarket Sim's gonna have that coming soon, but I think there's... Like, people will actually steal from you. And you do have to call the cops. Hey. Actually, let me, let me check. I'm pretty sure there was a whole, like, image with that in there. Let's check the trailer real quick. That, that's cool that you can actually work the register like that. That's cool. We gotta, we gotta work the register once to see how it goes. Yeah, and you can definitely expand the store. Wow, that's a huge store, dude. Oh, that's what that is. It's a sign person. Okay. You can hire somebody to do to do the sign. Well, so you can actually get robbed and call the cops. Okay. That that is a thing. Hmm. What's interesting to consider, too, is that it looks like the game doesn't put random yeah. trash and footprints wherever. It looks like it actually calculates, f um, like, floor traffic. Hmm. Which you'd think would be a huge amount of uh, mess in front of the register. I'm looking for Hopper's Haven. Yes. But that's kind of cool that you got to know where you're... Pro like, you can't just randomly throw things on the shelves. Because customers will come and ask you, Hey, where's this product? you got to remember where it is. Oh. And when you've got, like, a bunch of different products... It's going to be a lot to remember. Ma'am, are you waving at me or wow. this guy? Oh. Bro, wait a minute, dude. Hold on. There's employee proficiency. So the better he... I assume the longer this person does this job, the better they'll... They'll be... A, like, if your employee's working a job, they'll, they'll level up from wow. that. But was he unable to find the damn barcode? Like, look at this. Okay, you're scanning. <laughs> Dude, it shouldn't take that long to find the damn barcode. I wonder if there's employee training and stuff. Let's see. Fire, salary, set task, dismiss. Skills, one star. Mm -hmm. What does this say? Services? Looks like we could buy services too. I wonder what that means. Like a temporary employee? Like hire a cleaning service? Just come in real quick. This game is better than Supermarket Sim. It's certainly different. Um, I do like the fact that it's somewhat similar. Like we're selling food and whatever else. Okay, so let's close. Oh, it's auto-close. Okay. Then we can send him home. So I think we made about 1500 bucks. Wait, did I just pay him one more time from him standing up from the damn chair? Operating a cash register involves several steps. First, select the, um, and scan the product that the customer has placed on the counter. After scanning each product, place it in the bag. Simply hold the product over the bag and click to move it there. Once all the products have been scanned, press total finish on the screen to display the summary. After the customer puts the money on the tray, take it. If the customer pays more than the due amount, the summary screen will show how much change to give back. Select the correct amount. If the customer pays the exact amount, selecting money is not necessary. Take the receipt. 
Finally, put the change along with the receipt on the tray. The customer will take the money from the bag, making room for the next customer. Oh, damn. This game actually has receipts, too. Dude, uh, yeah, Supermarket Sim could definitely learn a little bit from this game. And you could actually, like, move around a little bit. All right. Shop closed. Well, 900 bucks probably ain't enough to buy a bunny enclosure. Let's see. Uh, build mode. Let's see. Retail floor, stock room. Bunny enclosure for 900. Yeah, then I gotta buy the bunnies though. Oh, anti theft sensor gate. So it looks like we could be robbed in the prologue too. There you go. Self service checkout. You do it and you pay us. Love it. What is this? Hamster enclosure. Ah. Wait, hamster and bunny enclosures look the same and they're the same price. Hey, we can get fish. We got a fish tank. Okay. I think I want to restart already because this is messy. We're doing it again. We're doing it live. Damn it, I don't want to exit the game. I'll go to the menu. I want to load a different save. Can anyone pro play the prologue? Well, there is a demo. I don't know if the... It says at the bottom here that this is a prologue version, but it, the demo and the prologue could be essentially the same with maybe different products that are available. Okay, we're starting fresh again, folks. We're going to do a speed run. Oh, God. The fish tank is probably for the turtle. Maybe. We'll see. Are we doing a speed run? We're not going to be goofing with any decoration or anything like that. We're going strict business. We're going straight into business mode. Uh. Okay. All right, beat it, pal. Hmm. Uh. All right, business mode. Okay, build. Storeroom. Doesn't need to be that big, so let's do. That's good enough. Throw a door on it. Okay, we'll just go with that. Okay, now we want a register. We could do two. Let's do two registers and we'll hire an employee too. I'll do one, they do the other. Okay, uh, bunny enclosure, let's, let's do that. Maybe we could do two. We'll put them over here. Or maybe we could do hamsters. Bunny, hamster, do a fish tank. Do fish over here. I think this game should pause time, by the way, when you're designing. But whatever. Okay. Um, or you could just do designing at night. But that would be a waste of your first day. Large item rack. Traditional. Super serious. There we go. That's better.
Okay. Oh, shopping baskets. Yeah, let's put that in. I don't know if that lets them carry more or what. Anti-theft sensor gate. No one gets out of here without paying the price. So it looks like we do eventually have to design a break room for our employees, but I guess the register guy, because he sits down all day, doesn't get as tired. But it looks like we can make a staff room, but again, time. Okay. Okay, let's order products. Wait, first of all, how do we order, like, bunnies and whatnot. Oh, there we go. 750 for some damn hamsters? Okay. Oh, let's do fish. <laughs> you could only put two fish in there? How do you get the demo? Well, the developer sent me this prologue in an email... So maybe it's not available yet for the prologue. It did say there was a demo though, but maybe it's maybe it's not a thing anymore. Okay, we'll do kitty food, 25. Rabbit food, 25. 25. Fish food, 25. These, yeah, nobody else has food. Okay, that's good. Uh, uh. <sighs> we're, we're already out of money. Chance saying you can play the prologue on Steam? I hope so. Here, yeah, we're waiting for the delivery truck. What the hell is this? Wisp music? Okay. Let's do kitty. 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 Pupper. Alright, so we're out of products now. And I don't have much money, so... I think we'll just hire this guy and get started. Oh, we got a lot more applicants this time. I'll hire Reed. Oh, there might be a loan system. How do I... There we go. Alright, I'm op opening this door. Let's do it. Okay. Store's open. Employees on the way. Let's go. 
Uh, I tried to respond to them on YouTube, but my messages aren't going through. Yes, the demo's on Steam. What the hell? What? Your messages aren't going through, Morgan? There's a lot of demos and prologues out from the developer like Chocolate Factory Simulator, Zoo Simulator, Disco Simulator, and a Candy Shop one coming. Damn. DM me all those, Morgan. I've been in the mood to play these life sims, so... Can I help you, sir? Uh -huh. All right, kind of cool if we give them bags. I didn't know. Yeah, any sort of like simulator like this or life sim, these games, you know, there, there's a million of these, but when they pop off, everybody loves them. Power wash sim. They're all various qualities and things, but, you know, supermarket sim, I'm going to be honest, ain't that well of a put together game yet. And it's very simple, but when it hits, it hits. Uh -huh. Hey, where's this employee? Hmm. Oh, I didn't give him a job. That's why. There we go. Had to set him a set him a task. Seems like I got to do more customer service than actually uh, checking checking anybody out. All right, standing by. Animal Trainer 2, which has a demo. Wow, okay. And I think, are they making another pet? What's it called? Vet, uh, what, pet, pet Shelter, or a Animal Shelter, I think it's called. Animal Shelter Simulator? Are they making a second one of that? Supermarket Simulator is a modders type game? Yeah. I think the devs have done a great job, though. And uh, I want to see them add more stuff without mods, because there's so much potential there, and they've done so well so far. It'll be cool to see them do stuff like in this game, though, like uh, give us the ability to put down shopping baskets, give us anti-theft devices. That's a game where the hype is much greater than I think the uh, developer's ability to deliver on certain things so far, which is okay, because like we have no idea how big that team is or anything. But this does make me want to start playing Big Ambitions again, which has an update coming with an airport where you can buy, you can buy um, or rent space at the airport and then have businesses there. So you could have like a, I don't know, a sports bar or something at the nice. airport. You can open a Denny's. Where's Doge? Yeah, good question. I don't, I don't think we can... Uh... Hey. Hey. I don't think you can have dogs yet in the game. So that was already our first day? Like, we're already closed. Nobody bought a fish. Nobody bought a hamster. Nobody bought a rabbit. Well, that was a waste. What? You can't charge me 37 bucks when I told you it's the end of the day and you're getting up and walking out? Walk out slowly and be like, oh, I'm, pay I'm being paid to walk to the door. Well, at least we got leet amount of money, thirteen thirty-seven. 
I guess. How do we uh, skip time? That's cool. That's pretty. Alright, open again. Wrong time to open this door. I own the business, damn it. Oh, they're Sag. Clean. Refill food and water. And now they're happy. They were just a little hungry. Which key opens the tablet? Just tab. If you go to, um, if you got the prologue or whatnot and you're looking how to play, the, don't skip the, the guy in the uh, doorway on your first day. He'll teach you how to play. I would recommend with this game, though, this is the type of game where you should um, do the tutorial and then once you're done, like, restart and then skip the tutorial. Really enjoy all the sim games you play. I wish I... I wish... Oh, I wish them... Wish list them all. Yeah. Yeah, wish listing is a really good way, too, by the way, to get a notification from Steam when a game is out or when a game goes on sale or just to kind of keep a whole tally of games that you can come back to. Hamsters are over here. The game seems to have dogs and cats, rabbits and fish, hamsters, and I'm assuming that's mice or maybe rats, and then turtles. But there's also fish. At least in this version. I want to uh, see if I can, like, check out a customer. Two-thirds of the items you have are for me in your wish list? Yeah. Yeah, I'm bad. I'm dangerous. I feel like I'm more useful being um, customer service than being on the register. I haven't had anybody come to the register yet. I don't know how it works. Like, do I have to be sitting here? Man, look at all those people checking out the fish food. Yo, Blind Amy, thank you very much for the four months as a Twitch Prime sub. Thanks for the resub. Mm. I want someone to come over. I, just, I, I want to do the register once. Ugh. We're going to have to order more stuff. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. At least they're generous with the amount of customers they give us so we can have some spending money. But there's going to be some tactics in the beginning of this game that we're going to have to like figure out. Like, what sells for the most money? I'm just surprised at how long customers stand there. sit down, someone's going to come in and they're going to want me to help find them a product. Hey, y'all.
Yeah, exactly. The language they're speaking is uh, known as Minecraft Villager. They browse for a long time. Yeah, when there's limited sure. products. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go. The hell is that? Pet tag. Oh, she wants to buy a fish. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's it. Thousand bucks. Wait, received zero, change zero. Oh, I see, because I got to do that. Okay, so she gets no change. So. How do I print receipt? Wait, how, how do I... She gave me a thousand bucks for a fish, by the way. How do I... Uh, close this? I don't need the register open. I just want to give her the damn fish. And her receipt. What the hell? Oh, do Price check on fish. Pr pr price check. Okay. Oh, this machine. Oh, Jesus. Why the hell would you put it all the way over there? Sorry, ma'am. It's my first day. That's the freaking receipt hey. printer? Anyway, hi. Now we're talking. Now, now we're playing a game. Let's go. This is cool. This is what I want the other game to be like. I have to actually scoot over. Wait, change two dollars. My my bad. Oh, are these pennies? One dollar. There you go. Two dollars. Two dollars. Wait, what the hell? Why am I giving her two? Okay. How the hell do I put this on the tray? Oh, I gotta get the receipt and put it on there. I see. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. Wow. Hi. Oh, this part's actually cool. Hold on, ma'am. There's a customer in distress. Ma'am, what do you need? Right over here, ma'am. Literally to your left. Employees tired. Remember about breaks. What do you mean? This is America. You work till you breaks. Then you out. Oh my God, ma'am. The dog food. The fu hey! God damn it! Okay, I, I can't get up from the desk. Hold on. Okay. Have a good day. I'm gonna go beat some ass. Get out of here, ma'am! I can't get up from the chair till you leave. Come on! Okay, there. The game won't let you get up. Where'd that son of a bitch go? Hey! <laughs> what the hell? The game won't let you get up from the chair. Where the hell did they go? Where are the cops? God. All right, I'm gonna sweep up for a while. All right, the register is fun though, but you can't get up. Like once you initiate transaction mode, the building could be burnt. The building could burst into flame, and walls and stuff could be crumbling around you, and you can't leave until you give them their receipt. Because you could get a bad rating on Yelp. Like, um, there was an electrical fire, and this guy chose to evacuate the building and not give me my $2 of my receipt for buying a goldfish. Who the hell ro robs a damn... Okay, oh, oh, God. Uh-huh. 
I'm gonna clean. Okay. Why do they do the denominations in pennies? I don't know. Well, I think maybe it's too... I think you can set the prices in this game in the future, and the game's just rounded them to zero. So I think, like, in the future, you could do, like, you know, like $15.50 $15 or something like that. But I can't set prices at the moment. God, it takes so long to clean stuff. What? Ma'am, you know where it is. Come on. Getting oh. to this store was harder than finding the products on the shelf, ma'am. Come on. It's not day one. Helmet's not a chair. Step up. Oh. 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 Hey. We're a one-star store. Oh. Okay, note to self. Uh, very important to hire somebody for cleaning. To clean the floors, that's easy. To clean the pet enclosures... It's a pain in the ass. Same lady? Wait. There. Well, at least the fish are easy. Do I have to fill their water bowl? No? Okay. I want somebody to just try to steal again. Just try again. I want to catch somebody, man. You know we can get robbed. I want the cops to show up. Someone's got to try to do robbery. All right, let me order some new stuff. Let's order like 10. 10 dog food. Cat food.
Add to basket. Oh, I gotta click on the... Okay. I see. Kind of weird that you can't. It, it's difficult to change the order. Oh. Forty three hundred. Okay. Uh, yeah, no loitering. Once you put the um, a product in the uh, basket or whatever, you can't. It, it, it's very difficult to like adjust that. Like if you buy fifty and you're like, oh crap, I only wanted twenty five. If you move that slider down, I don't. I don't see the num The slider moves, but not the adjustment of the product. The number. Pretty satisfying to fill those shelves, though. What else going on here? I get mad that there was a line. Maybe I should hire a second employee. I want to do this. I, I want to do the checkout myself because it's actually kind of fun to scan the products, put them into the bag, hand the change, the receipt over. I like that, but um, customers are so dumb. Like, where is the fish food? And it's like, ma'am, you are standing next to it. There's one shelf in the store. How could AI be that dumb? But they are. Okay, now we're going to have two people work in the register this time, tomorrow. Now we can take the rest of this time to order more stuff. So let's buy more dog food. Rabbit food. No, it's going to be too much, damn. I need to order that top one. What is that? Veggie vibes. Are the other dog foods unlocked as well? Um, oh, I guess there, there are... Yeah, oh, you're right. There's other products. I, I thought everything was just locked. Oh, actually, these are large bags of dog food, so we're probably going to need a bit... Oh, yeah, it shows you... Oh, that's nice. I didn't realize. It shows you the larger shelf there. So all this stuff fits on a small shelf, but we can buy the big shelf, too. So those products would probably get us a lot more money, but we need a, a big old shelf. Oh, that's cool. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of money for that.
Okay, let's do the... We need bunny food now? Yeah. Hopper's vibes. Okay. This is the type of game where it's definitely going to be a grind at the start, but the amount of things that you can do with all that money is actually quite nice. Like the buying the security things, the baskets, maybe... Uh, I don't know if we can buy advertisements in the game or whatnot. That'd be kind of cool if we could do marketing. Wow, well, look, there's even a bus. Yeah, they did, they did a pretty good job with this world, you know? Like, looking outside and seeing this. Kind of nice. All right, this game actually's got more potential than I was expecting, honestly. And there are quite a few of those, uh, as Morgan was saying, there's quite a few simulators out. And that's actually kind of cool. All of them differ in quality quite a bit, but also I feel like the quality is the same. Like, you know what you're getting into, but it's more like how much. Wait until you see Chocolate Factory Sim. The art style and scenery for that are game are so good. Chocolate Factory Sim. Let's check it out. Chocolate Factory Simulator. Wait a minute. There's also a game called Captain Contraptions Chocolate Factory and Demo. Let's check this game out. Oh, wow. Oh, damn, it's like a Victorian-era chocolate simulator? Ooh. Oh, you know what, chat? There's another game out today that I wanted to play um, that hopefully we get access to. Oh, this looks cool. Oh, yeah, Vic dude, Victorian-era chocolate simulator. That's beautiful. Oh, and you could design the packaging? Look at that. Uh, there's a game that came out today called Botany Manor. Oh, damn, there's a demo for it. This game is 22 bucks, and this game is about, um, it's kind of like strange horticulture, but you gotta take care of plants. Like, you're, you're a retired botanist in, like, the late Victorian era, and you've gotta take care of plants, but there's something else to it. I think, actually, you can look at moss and uh, do bird watching. But there's something else to this game, too. There's, like, some mystery or something going on. I don't know. Some of these games are so damn alluring. Like, at first glance, you're like, nah. But if you if you, if you you look past that, like, initial layer and watch for, like, five, ten minutes, then you're, then you're like, what the hell's going on? I need to know how this ends. It looks like there's only one fish in there, but it says two out of two. Oh, can we put product below? Oh, no way. Oh, we could... The frickin' fish comes with the free shelf. That's awesome. I guess we're ready to skip the night then. Have I tried to use the big truck steering wheel yet? What? What's that? Big truck steering wheel? Okay, let's call the employees in by the time they get here. We should be ready to open. Ah. Yeah, we're listening to our playlist again. The bell is the exact same bell that Zoom uses when people join your call. Oh, really? Well, I hope it's not annoying or anything. All right, I'll change the bell just for you. I will change the bell to a a bark. Who let the dogs out?
Soft thoughts and good thoughts for Raptoria. Love chat. Oh, Ricardo, thanks for the nine months as a bear cub, dude. And welcome to everybody subscribing to the YouTube channel. Welcome to everybody following on Twitch. Hope you're all enjoying your week so far. Oh, okay. Employees on final approach. Cleared for landing. What the? Right, right here? I was waiting for them to sit down, but... Right here. Hola. Assign a position. Register. Oh, there we go. That's why I didn't do that. My bad. What the hell are you doing? He had to go back to the door to reset his, like, search pattern to find where he was going to sit down. Okay. Yeah, we can make them a cleaner, too, but I'll just do the cleaning, I guess. Because the I can't have the employees talk to the customers. They're not permitted. Uh -huh. They're not allowed. <laughs> so I guess since I'm going to be standing up, cleaning up after the customers, I may as well be uh, uh -huh. chatting with them, too. All right, let's see if somebody tries to steal from us today. We got to catch a perp, make him go downtown, throw the book at him. We got to book him. No, we don't have to leave or go home or anything or eat. What happens to the employees if they talk to the customers? Uh, then they get the hose again. It doesn't look like the people can move diagonally sometimes. It looks... Oh, here we go. Okay, I thought that was going to be a theft. I need to hire a cleaner. Uh -huh. Getting in there deep. Yeah, very steampunky for sure. Customers are not satisfied with the animal's condition. I'm working on it right now. Oh. 
Cool as hell to see cars pulling up in the parking lot, though. <laughs> Freeze, pal. Oh, no, you caught me. Oh. Cops are on the way, pal. What are you saying? Oh, damn, the cops are actually showing up. He's resisting. He's not showing hands. That's right. Here's a 20. Make sure it's a rough night in the jail. You know what to do. Okay, we actually caught a perp. Sent him downtown. Did I cuff him? Apparently. I wish we could put down like a rug or something like that too. Like at the entryway to lower the chance of dirt on the floor. Yeah, End Zone's a good game. Glad you enjoyed playing it. I did too. I wanted to play it more. They came out with a cool DLC and stuff too. We covered that long ago. So we're going to do a big purchase of products. We need like 5,000 bucks or something. Alright, so this game definitely could be a grind, just like Supermarket Simulator for sure. I could see like, you know, you having to do like five to ten days of like sales in order to just get enough to like do a, a, a good tier one upgrade. Was the new gas station simulator DLC worth it? I thought so. I mean, I had fun with it. I liked how it was basically the, um... Hey. It was basically the, um... base game but in a whole new map without any sort of like minimal hand holding it didn't really have a story it was just kind of hey. felt more like sandbox mode with more to do like taking care of the like oh, dealing with the volcano and I'm looking for yeah yeah We got like two thousand bucks. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, you get to yeah, that's true. You get to kill a shark with a cannon. Look, moving around that map is a lot of fun. When you realize you can shoot the cannon at the ground and just basically rocket jump your way everywhere, that's cool. Like it was, it, that game is go goofy and dumb, and I love it. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, Ma'am, you went into the corner to get lost. Oh. Oh. 
Might be worth putting up a little temporary wall there so they can't wander all the way in the back. Why are they not buying bunnies? Good question. Well, they did buy one. I think what you gotta do is you gotta wait for somebody to come over and uh, be standing here and then you gotta try to persuade them. Like, we could persuade all these people to buy cat food, but it's like, I'm, ain't nobody got time for that. You wanna try to sell them to these things. Like the the from the animal enclosures, but I think that's going to be the good thing about having multiple employees. Is I probably I, at this point didn't really need two cash. For, well, I don't know. The line was out the door the other day, but um, I think we definitely want two registers. Maybe call on an employee when it gets busy, and then have have like 1.5, you know, people on the cash register, and then we want somebody cleaning all the time. So that way we can uh, basically help the customers. Fish tanks gotta be dirty by now. Nope. Oh, I don't. <laughs> I need 500 bucks to buy a fish. Oh, here we go. Hey. Hello. Ah. Uh. Leave me alone, okay? Alright then. Well, I tried. And back to the corner we go. To increase animal sales, have a store motto. You pick them, and we put them, or we put them down. Wow. That reminds me of the Simpsons episode with the uh, steakhouse where it's like cows uh, steak so fresh that they have like cows in the store can you set the register person to clean when not busy that's true we could probably do that we're not so busy now so we could have him clean good point although I wonder if I need to buy a mop and bucket for them or if they can just automatically do that let's see if they this is dirty now, I think, right? No, we're out of food. There. Here's some dirt here. Let's see if they'll come over and clean. Yep. God, look at how painfully slow they clean. To be fair, though, these are like level one skills. Uh -huh. Hey, y'all. Uh -uh. Dude, no nobody wants to be helped at all in this store. No one can find where the damn fish food is when you can see it from literally out in the parking lot. But they don't want any help. Hmm. These people are extra difficult. All right. Hey. Hmm. 
I'm looking for fish. Can, dude, you this is the same guy who was standing here looking at the fish, and I was like, can I, can I help you? No, leave me alone. There's starting to be a line. Wait, they're both set to cash register. Oh. <laughs> no, damn it, no. <sighs> Criminals. Hold on. Stand by. Sounds like when you worked in retail, yeah. Okay. All right, this prologue is good, but they got to give us like more time and more stuff to do, because like, uh, or rather, more time to do with all the stuff that they've given us, because there's a lot of stuff that we could do, but they only give you like three days. You spend half the first day setting up your store and buying products and stocking the shelves. Yeah, that is a cool menu select screen, like where you can ch like you you scan an option and then you hit like confirm. That's actually really cool. I didn't mind that at all. All right. Well, since we keep getting stun locked and like basically, you know, because it's a prologue, they're going to kick us back to the menu after day three. Let's go find something else to test out. Extendo bonus stream, y'all. Let's do an extended bonus stream. What should we play? We may play something on pet shop related, but this, this game's got a lot of potential. I'm going to be honest. The fact that people can steal and you can track them down and call the cops. The fact that you can sit at the register and not only have to like put the stuff in the bag, like you grab the product and actually have to scan it, then put it in the bag, and then, like, you can give change, but then also the receipt thing is kind of cool. Like, it works a little differently than uh, Supermarket Sims, so that's cool. And then also, a lot more customization than I was expecting. Except for, I don't think any game ever makes me happy with, like, what you can do for the walls and stuff. Like, every game that has floors and uh, walls that you can paint and stuff like that, they always just never have enough options. They got to give us more customization. Let's take a look. Ooh, Big Ambition's 22 bucks. Now yeah, we're going to have to come back to this game. Is there a big update yet? Early access 0.5. Oh, there's going to be a rivalry mode, right? This is going to be like an AI mode where you can like battle it out against the AI. Oh, damn. They're adding a new region. Wait, I don't, I don't remember this. Lower Manhattan. Oh, yeah. New neighborhood. New wholesale store. Hudson Wholesale. New appliance store, skate park, four new warehouses, ooh. And an above ground par uh, parking garage. Is that something you can buy? Wages now go up with training. Reduce maximum wages, okay. A lot of changes. This game's cool though, 22 bucks. This game is more than worth it, big ambition. Uh, they have Zoo Simulator, let's check that out. Zoo Simulator. Zoo Simulator. Prologue. Wait, this game came out. Oh, the, the simulator prologue did. The hell, you can weld fences? A white rhino. Oh, power wash. The enclosure. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh. 
Oh, and you could do a little bit of a building of the zoo, too. Mostly unlocking, but yeah. I oh, would give this one a try. Has more to do with the uh, animals except the big ones. Let's give it a shot. Downloading now. Oh, hold on, hold on, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh. Ponglad sent me some news on Farming Sim. I thought they were announcing a new one, but no. Oh, let's watch the trailer for this. Let's watch the uh, the Zoo Simulator Prologue trailer. Seems pretty straightforward. Looks like all they've got so far is a white rhino, but obviously the full game will have a lot more, probably like elephants, giraffes, the usual. Let's give this one a try. Hey, welcome to the zoo. Uh, okay. There we go. Oh, this game's horrible, is it? Well, it's a prologue, so I, I guess I don't have access to the full game yet. I'll give it a try. Name your zoo. Uh, Zootuber. Well, we'll see how it goes. Loading. I can tell from the music that this game is going to take place in Japan. I mean, a zoo like this could be built anywhere, I suppose. The zoo was once a, po a popular place to visit and provided shelter for many species. Its glory days are now behind it, and it stands empty. Can you restore it to its former glory? Your relative left this property to take care of, and uh, if you try, maybe you'll see visitors to the zoo again. And animals in need of a home? For a what? My relative left the zoo. <laughs> My cousin John just owned a zoo. All oh, right, well, it certainly looks pretty. Oh, dude. If there was a way in Planet Zoo to walk around in first person like this, that'd be sweet. But I'd probably end up spending all my time just buying food at the, uh, at the food court. Not going to lie. Bum, ba, bum, 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 ba, bum. Wow, this place is... That, what the hell are these small-ass chairs? These are for, like, kids. Those are, those are like, kids' chairs. What the... <laughs> Did kids run this zoo? Look at how small look at how small these desks are. Like they have one pushed in as if somebody was sitting here. Use the computer. What do they want me to do? Buy a welder and buy bars. Congratulations, you just bought your first item. Purchased items will appear in the warehouse. You can pick them up by pointing at them and using left mouse button. 
Okay, so I think we're gonna repair an enclosure for like a... Uh, what was it? Rhino? Okay, there's the warehouse. Bro, I thought this building was abandoned. Oh, hell yeah, brother. Gonna use that arc welder. Hell yeah. Items allow you to perform various actions in the game, but remember you can only hold one active item in your hand. You can easily store other items in your inventory. You can freely change them with the 0 through 9. Okay, yep. Cool. Take the bars. Okay. Approach the gate with the hole and uh, repair the gate. Okay. Take the bars, select the welder, repeat the process. Okay. Sweet. Hell yeah, brother. My kind of simulator right here. Raptopia, exactly. The Sunny Savannah enclosure has been something. Okay. Emma or Morgan, can you update the uh, name on Twitch, by the way, for this uh, zoo simulator prologue? All right, adopted animal, approach the cage, and approach the information board. Okay. Yeah, fruit fruit slots would be my simulator. So it looks like in the prologue, all we could do is buy white rhinos. I guess we'll adopt that one. Okay. Is there a way we could trash all this stuff? Like, I, I, I can't stand it. I want to get rid of these chairs. Like, they're literally the smallest chairs ever. Oh, God. This is like when they released the raptors in Jurassic Park. Give this animal a name. L... If I know. Approach the information board and check the animal's needs. Elefino. He's 43 years old? Damn. Hunger, thirst, sleep, relaxation, fun, social... Habitat water, 500 liters. Herbivore. Optimal temp is 20 to 34. Likes to play, likes to be with others, but can be aggressive. Okay. Approach the faucet by the door. By the bowl. I'm saying bowl. The trough. Oh, this place needs to be cleaned. I wonder if I leave that gate open if he'll just escape. Okay, now we're going to buy food. We're going to buy fooge. How many? Just one? Approach the computer, purchase food, take food to the warehouse. Or from the warehouse, okay. I, I guess we're just buying one. You don't see the edit tool? Uh, there should be some sort of command you can do on Twitch to like change the name. I've never been a Twitch mod, so even I don't know. So it's, it's okay if 
if we don't figure it out. We'll just have to respond to people, change it later. We're still learning, it's okay. Can I ride around the rhino to do errands? Buy a pressure washer and approach the dirty stones. Oh cool, now we're gonna do some pressure wash simulator. This will be really exciting when you've got like, you know, right now it's kind of just chill with just one animal, but like the, the map showed all those different enclosures. It'll be interesting to see what happens when, it, you know, the big animals will be interesting like giraffe and elephant and stuff like that. But what it, what would it be if we get like, um, I don't know, turtles and stuff? Those would be pretty cool. Um... Pressure washer, there we go. Uh oh, wait a minute. What was that? Bamboo. We all know who eats bamboo. It's a material, though. But this game could have frickin' pandas. Music here is nice and chill. Do I have unlimited water? Oh damn, this thing could shoot down an aircraft. Bath time. He likes it. Am I just supposed to clean this one or all of them? Yeah, whatever. We're not in a rush. Let's do them all. It would be nice in this game if we get to uh, decorate the uh, enclosures a little bit ourselves. Like, maybe change out the fencing for something else. and Add information boards. Hire um, staff to inform... people about stuff. I have a food court. Hello, hello. So right now we've uh, we were playing uh, Pet Shop Simulator earlier. The prologue uh, ends after like three days, like three in-game days. So if we kept playing that one, we'd probably keep getting to the same point and then uh, have to start a new game, and we w we wouldn't really be able to progress too far in that game and see more of what we had already seen. So now we're playing a game called uh, Zoo. That was a Zoo Simulator prologue. We're basically a zookeeper. And uh, we're taking care of a rhino enclosure right now. It's legit so far. Like, it's pretty cool. We're doing things like repairing gates and taking care of the enclosure as much as the animal, which is interesting. The enclosures are just important as the animal because that's their, their home, essentially. All right. Use the slider, open the zoo, and wait for the first reviews. Okay. 
How much are we charging? 90. What the hell is this H? I guess that's the currency in the game is H. Oh, and there's the different biomes. So we got Sunny Savanna, Forest Burrow, Jungle Hideout, Quiet Grassland, Desert Shelter, Wild Clearing, Far Oasis, Grassy Plateau, Secluded Grove, Old Reserve, and Step Valley. So de definitely different animals are going to be in there. Probably mostly bears. Put it in H. There's a lot of hype. It's a lot of hype and excitement. That's right. Hype and excitement. All right, we're going to actually see people. Where's, like, the entrance? All right, I'll tell you right now. You know what this game needs? Golf cart. We need some sort of a little cart to zip our ass around. To go to different uh, enclosures. Okay. We got our first guest. You need a drill driver. Okay. I'm really into the whole repairing stuff. Like when, when something's out of order like this, it's very satisfying to like have the proper tool or equipment to repair it. I love when you do that in games. I love that. You want some coffee? Sure. Hey, does anybody want coffee? Who wants coffee? I just made a fresh pot of coffee. Does anybody want coffee? Coffee? How's he doing now? Is he hungry again? No, I see food there. Check out the guest opinion in the enclosure details window. Rhinos have an empty enclosure. They need more decorations. Okay. Wait. Go to the enclosure and place decorations. We don't have to buy them? More decor. Man, this is a pretty damn well decorated enclosure. Press V to enter decoration mode. And this is pretty nice. This isn't uh, lay designer tier, but uh, you know it's nice. This is me on my best day tier. Oh God. You know, I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna read it. I'm gonna figure it out. W wall of text? No, thank you. A rhino arbor, horn scratcher. Oh, a toy. Let's do that. There we go. Here. There we go. Alright, what else you got? Oh, now I can check the computer. Wait, let's see if he plays with it. He's moving in for the kill. Can't even reach the damn thing. Uh, I don't know if we're locked on a grid. There, there may have been a button to turn off the grid, but I didn't. I skipped the whole five-step tutorial. So there might be a way to more finely t tune that. All right, back to the PC. But I didn't want to read wall of text to literally go to. I mean, we've all played these games before go to a menu buy something pull it out of your inventory plop it down rotate it paint it overall rating three out of five well-being three out of five 
Cleanliness is a five star though. Decorations suck still. Whatever, lady. Buy a hammer and a shovel. Hammer and a shovel. Approach the old hut. Damn it, I, I want to destroy those chairs. All right, where's the hut? Oh, we're getting a new animal, maybe. Oh, we're going to custom build something or tear this down? Oh, damn, wow. We strong. Okay, nice. Is there more to destroy? Oh, this. Clean up the debris, okay. Uh, I have a full bag now. Oh, that's cool. I like how that cleaning works. We're dropping off aggregate. That's what it's like. That's cool. This part reminds me of like World War II Rebuilder. Like the, the city rebuilding game. Disappeared. Check the opinion in the computer. For what? There's nothing in here. There's no animals here. Not in this one. Oh, it's like... Zoo opinion. Okay. All right, now we're buying a drill. Permission might not be set to editor. That's eh, okay. We'll figure it out. To Flying Dutchman Mario, good to see you. Yeah, I think there's a there's a Twitch command to do it through Twitch. Oh, a mini game? Nice. Hmm. 
No, they actually wrote like a little info on it. Mission failed. Cool. Really? That's what a white rhino footprint looks like? Look at that. I would have never imagined it looking like that. All right, go to the computer and buy a tablet. Check opinions on the tablet. Oh, good. We won't have to go back to the damn computer every time. What else is there? Pliers, food dispenser, wrench, screwdriver. Hmm. I like how we get some serious tools. Open the encyclopedia. Ew, reading? Gross. Uh, adopted animal suitable to the size of the enclosure. Release a new zoo resident using the left mouse button. Give it a name. We're going to be buying one for here. May as well fill up the water while we're here. Hmm, and it's got a double gate. It's going to be dangerous, whatever it is. I have to use the computer to do it. Dumb. Okay, we can put in a gazelle, an ostrich. Hmm. Well, let's see what we should do. Group size one to five, one to four. Fruits and vegetables. These guys want hay and hedge. These just want hedge. Group size of males, two, five females. Bro, I think I want ostriches. Let's buy two. Can we? Yeah. I guess we'll buy two bros. Another animals. Oh, I could do them one at a time. And maybe we'll try to get a lady one. Looks like there's room for three. So if we have a male and female, they can get a little baby ostrich. There you go, buddy. Steve.
buy vegetables and fruit and fill the bowl. Well, damn it, the bowl was already full. Oh, food, fruits and vegetables. Can you hire staff? I haven't seen an option for that yet, but I'm I'm not sure. We're still learning. I hope so. Because this is a lot for one person to take care of, really. I guess I have to pick up food. I, f I forgot. Is it in here? Well, this says pellets. This oh, here they are. Okay. I thought everything was supposed to be in the warehouse. Just next to it. Not you, sir. I gotta go over here. Alright, let's plop in some fresh fruit. There you go. Check the new opinion. I right, turn on the computer tablet in the renovations category. Perform a toilet renovation? What the hell? Oh, we're going to be fixing up zoo buildings now. Main office, reception, coffee corner, waiting corner. Buildings, office, warehouse, zoo entrance, ticket booth, toilet. Oh, and then there's... Okay, so th this allows us to actually customize the enclosures. That's kind of cool. We want the toilet. Turn on the computer. Upgrade drill. Fix next information board. We can upgrade? Oh, that's cool. What's the difference? Wait. <laughs> What? what? Marker speed. It slows. The slower the speed, the higher the upgrade. I don't, I don't get it. You will. All right. So let's fix the next board. And that's for the. Strages. Oh, does it slow this thing down so it's easier to click? Oh, that's what it does. It makes the mini game slower, so it's just easier to to hit it. I think. Ah, that's cool. Go to the jungle hideout enclosure, sell old decorations, and adopt an animal. Oh, God.
so we can sell things. This this is a jungle? Bro, this looks like a desert. Anything else? Gotta be another herbivore. I need to swing by the hardware store, pick up some more <laughs> the tools and stuff. All right. Oh, we got to go back to the PC in order to do this. Okay, so uh, I guess we'll. Ooh, we can get an elephant. That might be too big though for that. Man, I want an elephant though. All right, we'll get one. We'll get this young, hip and cool elephant. I said it's quite a big enclosure, so that's perfect. All right, I need a good name for the elephant. I need a good elephant name. You kind of like this game, sort of simple, but you get to do a lot of things you don't see in zoo games. Yeah, I agree. It, it feels like playing a Planet Zoo kind of game where they've just they've designed the zoo and you're here just to do maintenance, which is kind of cool. Like, if you like simulator games, you know what you're in for. And I don't think I've seen a game like this for zoos before. Other than what I mentioned before for, like, Planet Zoo. Which is cool. Imagine a game, though. I think there's, uh, in addition to what I was mentioning about Planet Zoo, there's also Planet Coaster. And I think there's um, a amusement park simulator game like this, where you get to like empty trash cans and like uh, you get to do stuff like that, clean clean rides and things like that. You want know to call them Peanuts? Peanuts is a good name. We'll just call him Peanut. Oh, look at him go. Oh my god, we're gonna buy a frickin' hot dog stand? Let's frickin' go. Are we making money? Like, are people... Like, the zoo's open. Oh, there's actually 22 people here. All right. Been open like 10 minutes. Littlefoot. Oh, yeah, that'd be a good one. Littlefoot. So now we're going to go build a hot dog stand. This could possibly be game of the year. Can you build a hot dog stand in Baldur's Gate 3? Didn't think so. Okay, so there's a little customization here, like... They've already laid out the food court. You just get to choose where the hot dog stand goes. So we can choose a coffee shop. Souvenirs, eating spot. Look at that hot dog stand, bro. Game of the year. Go to the employee category. Gardner. Mar okay. All right. So there you go. You all asking if you can hire staff. There you go. Looks like we can hire a gardener, marketing specialist, or hot dog vendor. There's got to be more jobs that 
eventually become unlocked. Like maybe we can hire a veterinarian for the uh, for the animals. Like maybe eventually they'll get sick and they have to be checked on. How you doing, pal? I'll take one of the works. Bro, those are like foot-long hot dogs. This dude's going all out. What do you got going on back there? Let me see. I can't get back there. Boss? You speaking German? All right, buy an automated dispenser. Get it from the warehouse. Put it on a trough. Okay, the more I play this, the more interesting this is becoming, actually. Okay, so we need to buy an upgrade. Food dispenser. I think I'll go put it for the rhino. Look, chat, it's a kitty. Kitty! There we go. Okay, I'll need to buy some more. I'll be back. Is this still Pet Shop Simulator, as the YouTube title says? No, the prologue we were playing let us only play for like three days in game, and then it like reset the game, so we weren't able to make a ton of progress. We were able to see the game, and it was cool, but since we have extra time for our usual stream, I wanted to play something else animal-like. So this is called uh, Zoo Simulator Prologue, and this is pretty cool. You know, still kind of keeping with the animal theme, but... Uh, Honestly, I, I could see myself playing this for, like, a stream, too. I like a full zoo simulator stream. It is very satisfying, no matter what game we play, if it's a simulator, to just, you know, get the upgrades. Oh, that damn. That's right, they said three. We could get up to three. I think I can only carry one bag at a time. But anyway, it's really cool in these games to, like, unlock stuff and tools and get upgrades. I mean, yesterday on the channel... A lot of you may have missed this. We played a, a game called um, Crime Scene Cleanup Simulator. And that one seems like a lot of fun. It's like, it feels like playing Power Wash Simulator and a Hitman game at the same time. But honestly, there's a lot of games that we all miss because there's so many... There's so many games coming out, updates, prologues, demos, uh, DLCs, etc. Aw, we're at the end of the game. Thank you for playing. Actually, we can keep playing, though. So whenever that pops up... Hold on. Okay. Uh, whenever that pops up, and it says, like, Oh, dude, end of the, end of the game. You can still do stuff. Like, technically, we can go to the computer and still buy more ostriches and whatnot. Yeah. We can keep buying more creatures and stuff. It's just the end of new stuff to do. So I think if you were playing this prologue, the thing you really want to do is go and buy more of those uh, auto feeders and put it on all the... Well, actually, maybe you can't do it for the fruits, but maybe. Maybe you can. I don't know. Pretty game, though. It's pretty. Yeah, this definitely makes me wish there was a first-person mode for... Uh, Planet Zoo that lets you walk around and take care of your animals and stuff in this format. Cool stuff. Hey, yeah, you can't you can't beat can't beat a free uh, can't beat a free simulator. You know, free prologues, all about it. Honestly, there's probably like 
a thousand hours of free games you could play on Steam that are just demos, prologues, and uh, like betas and stuff like that. You know what I mean? All right, chat. If you want to see more of uh, these shop simulators and other things like that, Big Ambition, Supermarket Simulator, the Pet Store game, what it releases with thieving and whatnot, make sure over on YouTube you hit that like button. Can't stress enough to you people how much it means to the channel and your support for doing that. So thank you very much if you've ever hit that button. It's a tremendous way to support and let YouTube know that uh, you like this type of stuff and you want to be recommended more of simulators and the channel and other things like that. Worst case scenario, you might just be notified of a stream that you're not interested in and you don't watch it, but then you can catch the next one. So at least, hey, you get to make the decision on what you want to watch. That's going to be it for now, folks. But I am going to drop a new video on the channel of a different type of simulator, this one for World War II. Is this a World War II game? Yes, it is. And this one is about the... Um, it's a new game for uh, Victory at Sea in the Atlantic. Just came out a couple of days ago, so we're taking a first look. So I'm going to drop you over to that video, and then we'll be back in a little bit for our next Big O stream. Going to be moving stuff around on the channel this week for single-player, multiplayer updates and stuff like that. we got a lot of cool stuff planned. And uh, we got Frostpunk 2 coming next week, a beta on April 15th for that one. So uh, get ready. It's going to be a good time. So there you go. Click or tap that link. You'll be live redirected to the YouTube premiere which is going live right now. It is a pre-recorded video with a live chat. So enjoy that one. And I'll see you all in a little bit for our next Big O stream. Thanks again for the support. Never be afraid to jump on our Discord, by the way, and uh, suggest me some games that you might want me to play. And I would love to see them. Uh, so definitely shoot me a DM over on the Discord of some cool stuff uh, coming up simulator-wise or survival. And uh, we'll uh, try it out. All right. Thank you, everybody, for watching, and I'll see you very soon.